Well, hello, and welcome to our course um, on system engineering, ENGR 345. I'm happy to present some interesting material. So this is going to be an extremely short video just to introduce what we're talking about. And so this is the, the title of the textbook, System Engineering Principles and Practices. And there's a variety of different authors that are worked on this. And in terms of the contents that we're going to be covering, there's going to be five areas, five things that we'll be getting a chance to go through this general process of hopefully by the end of the course, you'll get a better sense of what system engineering is all about. So the first major section is going to be foundations. And so we'll be thinking about systems engineering in the world of modern systems. This will be, I think, a, a good perspective in case you haven't really understood what the, the domain and how system engineering works. And so we'll continue on thinking about the structures of complex systems, the system development process, a couple different um, process methodologies that are out there, and then begin to think about systems engineering management. So that's the first area where we'll talk about foundations. And then there's three things that are related um, going through the life cycle, concept development, engineering development, and post development stage where things are in production and operations. So for concept developments, we'll be going working from what are the needs, having that flow into requirements, coming up with a functional analysis of how it would work, do the evaluation and selection of what you're going to actually going to build, then Finalizing the architecture, we'll be talking about model-based system engineering, and this is going to be a part of the course where we get into actually using some models. Then we'll talk about decision analysis and support. Uh, this is um, analysis is always a, a big part of it of finally getting the chance to be quantifying risk. The second part is after the concept of development, we actually do the, the development, the, the, the making of the hardware and system engineering actually follows along with that process. And so thinking about advanced development, also having to consider the, the software. So there's cyber physical systems that, to, that have to be think, thought through, getting into the design, the engineering design, doing the integration and doing the test and evaluation. So thus, you get to a point where you're able to sell this off and say, yes, it's ready to go into production and operation. And part four is where we get into the specifics about what would production look like? Say, if you're building multiple articles of the same thing, having it be in an operation, and then you have to be thinking about operation and maintenance. And then also system of systems engineering. A system can fit into a larger system and we need to be thinking about that. Then we'll finish up with the systems domain, thinking of the, the enterprise level system engineering, the system security engineering, and then thinking about the future of system engineering. And it is going into a variety of subjects that initially weren't considered, including biological systems. And so that those are some bright future areas for system engineering. Okay, that's gonna be it just to do a quick introduction. So thank you very much.